Okay, today I'm I'm doing a little video here here with my neighbor here, Dr. Guac. How we doing? And you might want to move a little closer because this thing has kind of hard things to pick it up sometimes. Anyway, now he is an avid hunter, and I just decided to do with this footage I compiled to rate my shots in a Cabela's video game just to see how realistic it is. All right, so first we're gonna we're gonna select our caliber, which which you're probably more than, than an expert on. All right, let's. All right. Two seventy. We're going with. Which one are you gonna pick? Three fifty-eight. That that's Winchester round, right? A three fifty-eight. Uh huh. Yeah, it's an older style. It's a. All right. Yeah. All right, we're we're hunting moose here. Now now I'm gonna be now I'm gonna be using a call and I want to, I'm gonna pause it after it's done a couple little times and I just want you to rate how accurate does that sound? Okay. And what one second? I preview camera. That's our target. Okay. And don't worry, don't worry, I cut a lot of the walking around out. I was putting cover sound on. Is would you say that's too much or too little? Oh cover sound? Cover scent. Oh. That's fine. Wind is critical, you don't want your scent to go. Smooth call. Mm -hmm. How's that sound? Is that, that's good. Did you make the moose call or did somebody else? I'm, it's just selecting. Okay. All yeah. right, here we go. Here we go. I didn't even see the moose. Right back there. That looked pretty good. Yep. All right. I don't know that I would have made that shot. All right. So. How far was it? 170 yards? Okay. That's pretty far. All right. Just looking at everything here. Mm -hmm. Is that a good kill or not so much of a good kill? That's a great kill. It's a huge moose. 76. Five eighths inch spread. And yeah. and one thousand one hundred fifty pounds. Yeah, yeah. That's a big one. That's a big old bull. All right. All right. So yeah, just kind of giving you a chance to look this over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very impressive. Signed to go with a 338 Magnum, which I assume this one it's a Winchester Magnum. We look like a Winchester Magnum. I didn't read it all, but yeah, they don't they don't they don't include the company names. Okay. I mean, I mean some of these some of these games do, but yeah, a lot of them don't. Is that a dead elk? No. Let's see, what are we? Goat. Mountain goat. We're hunting an elk in this one. Okay. So tell me about this this call right here. Because it's about that looks like a pistol. That looks more like a rifle. Yeah. Usual cover scent. Is it a bad idea to use too much cover cover scent? Because you could. No, it just wastes your cover scent. Yeah, it sounds a little electronic, but that'll work. Does it sound pretty much what an elk would sound like? Yeah, within reason. It sounds more like an elk than any other animal. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh, you're hiding behind the trees. You gotta make. Oh, that's a difficult shot to make through the trees. Hey, it looks like you still smoked did you, him. Did, did you see yeah. where it hit right there? Right behind the shoulder. That's, that's a beautiful shot. Yep. Yeah. 
can't you can't ask for more than that. All right. Take a look over. <clears throat> Does it show the wound on that one? No. No. I don't think, I don't think it shows. But no, that's good. It's not a lot of deep meat damage, but a little bit. But look at Let's see what it scored. Inside spread. The span is 23. Length of time 36 is pretty good. Length of main beam 37, 33. 526 pounds. Yeah. Right. Right, that's a fair. That's a fair elk. Two seventy, going with two seventy now. Two seventy for what? What are you hunting? Whitetail. That's perfect. Looks like a black bear to me. Yeah, but that's just that's just the thing they put on the loading screens. <laughs> okay. And I'll keep it in mind. This guy is not really a gamer. He never really was. Who? You weren't. Oh, I'm, I'm not. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. I didn't grow up with video games. At least not much. Here we go. This map's a little confusing at, at points, but. And I got rattling antlers in this one. I don't think. Okay. That kind of sounds like probably the more bogus sound. Sound out of them. What do you think? Yeah. The goal here is just to make some ruckus, to make it sound like there's. Two bucks making ruckus. Yeah. Fighting each other. I mean, you can rub trees together. You can rub antlers against trees. You can have antlers against antlers, and that sounds a little bit more like antlers against antlers. You just want to make sh make it sound like there's a lot of excitement to make a another buck jealous that there's a lot of excitement he's not involved yeah. in. So territorial. Yeah. Bucks. Yeah. Just as well as jealous bucks, thinking, hey two are having fun fighting each other. I want to join. Here we go. Look a little high and forward. Let's see where it lands. Oh! Wounded. Running off? It's running off. Uh-oh. Let's see if we can find him. Yeah. You don't want I, I got him. A, you don't want to leave a wounded animal. Okay, Here, he's laying him. down. Still a little bit forward, high. And neck shot. You're going to settle behind the shoulder. It looked like a little bit into the shoulder. Oh! That was a squirrely one. <laughs> He enjoyed that, but it looked like it was successful. I mean, is it possible for them to flip over like that? Probably not. Yeah, they can. They can. They can jump around when they're hurt. Yeah, I heard. I heard the story. Inside span eighteen. That's a. That's a mediocre one. Yeah. Wait, two hundred pounds, two hundred twenty pounds. That's really 18. big. Yeah. yeah. So if anything, I actually heard this one story that this guy told me he shot. I think it was an elk at close range with with like a big old deer slug or something okay so and then it flipped over like twice but no nothing other than that all right here we go now here's one you should know about if i should I seven choose? mag seven mm Remington makes that caliber yep and this one is one of those auto loading ones which to my knowledge are still made but yeah they, they still make auto loading rifles yeah browning is a common yeah, Browning. They used to have the old Brownington's, and I know there's one that specifically makes the seven MMs, but I don't can't remember it, the, the company off the top of my head. Now we're here in the winter. Have you ever hunted in the winter before? Yeah. <clears throat> here we go. They do a lot of predator hunting in the yeah in the winter. This is a grunt call. Well, what are you pursuing? I think it's a mule deer in this one. Okay. It's a grunt call. I don't know. You know. I don't know. With the sled? No. Here we go. Here we go. Go slowly, 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 slowly. Beautiful. Not a lot of meat damage, just right behind the shoulder. Oh. Double lungs. He's going to run off and lay down. He's going to feel yeah. sick. And then he should right. be able to recover him. All right, before we continue. Yeah. There's a park coming up here where I actually encounter a predator. 
Predator, and and I want your opinion. Was I justified to shoot it in in this instance? I will tell you, I will tell you the game didn't didn't think it was, but then again, it's but then again, it's probably a glitch or some, glitch with, with you know like whatever function, but whatever. Okay. But then again, this is an old game, so so whatever. Oh, you don't a, want to scare it off. There's a wolf, in the, or is it coyote? I don't know what it is. Here it is. Here it is. Looks like a little pup. No tag for that animal. This is your first warning. Typically, they won't say that, that if the animal's attacking you, but was I justified in that instance to shoot it? Or do you know? Um, did you feel threatened? Yes. That was the only way to survive that situation? Was to take down that animal? Likely. You couldn't have turned around? It would have got me. It would have got you? Yep. How about scared it away? I don't know if there is one. If there's a way to scare it away? If there was, I'd use it. Yeah, sometimes you don't have time to make all these decisions, but... Yeah, right. That, um, you're able to be saved, I guess. Yep. Without gnaw marks from a wolf or whatever that was. Yep. It looked like a pup. <laughs> it was a coyote. They were much smaller. Yeah, you could have scared a coyote away. <clears throat> Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I'm... Most states don't have tags for coyotes. Yeah, they don't, do they? Are you going to shoot your sled? Here we go. Here, there it is. Surprised it hasn't dropped dead yet. Here we go. <laughs> oh, he jumped up in the air. <laughs> so, so how was that shot? That was good. Both of those were vital shots. I don't know why it wasn't expired by the time you caught up to it. <clears throat> All right. So, oh, this is another white tail. That was mule deer from second. Okay. Because I know I I don't know, remember if I recorded one of those in this mm -hmm. compilation or not, but so it weighed about the same. So 228 pounds. That other one was 218 and a half. Mm -hmm. so, so this one's a little bit heavier. So 17 inside, inside spread. spread. They gave it a score of 140. All okay. right. So how was so how how's that from your point? Very successful. We're hunting bighorn sheep in this one. Bighorn sheep? You're going to need a bigger caliber than your. What are you hunting with right now? I don't think I can get this part in, but I think it's a. I believe it's. I think it's a. I think it's a. At least a 30 caliber gun, I think. Okay. At least. I, actually, I think this up. is. Actually, I don't know why I chose for this, but I think this is a 5. 510 Allen Magnum might be an Allen, yeah. 510 Allen Magnum. Allen Magnums are huge, yeah. So, it's yeah, gunsmith mm -hmm. Allen that really overboard a lot of cartridges. Yeah, here we go. So, Allen's are really overboard, really fast. Oh, well, that looks successful. Did you hit him in the chest? I think I hit him somewhere around the I don't know. <clears throat> Was that a good one? I don't know, 200 season. I know nothing about a big one yeah. sheep, so... It looks young. Oh, it was a 460 Magbolt rifle. Okay, it's Pro got a lot of power. Isn't that a 460? What, what company made that, do you know? A 460? Hmm. I know of a 416 Rigby, but not, not a 460. Sure. And also, so, so, and that concludes, concludes. So, so one out of ten. How, how much would, you, what would you give those? Um, all of them together, average. Yeah, just, just be totally honest here. I would give you a nine and a half. Nine and a half out of ten. Nine and a half out, yep. out of ten. Yeah, I thought those did well. Some of the early ones, I was impressed on how your shot placement ended up, but you shot through the trees and that was difficult for me to 
assess, but mm. it was successful. So yeah. we still earned the points on that. All right. So, so yeah, that concludes everything thing for, for today. I hope you all enjoyed this. Catch you later. Peace out. Say goodbye, Doc. All righty. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.